So the, what does facilitating faith building mean? Okay, in the last, we've done this for eight years now. This will be our eighth conference. We've kind of had a conference. We've done some, we've done some other events as well. But now we're going we're gonna to add on to what we do at the conference. Not only do you go to the conference, but we're going we're gonna to add on a, a program after the con conference, like a six-week program. We're going to use all the things that we have uh, done over the eight years and provide resources that you can go watch a video, you can have discussion, you can do it virtually, you can do it in person. We're going to do it on our website, so you can do it either any way you want. So we're going to we're going to step up what we're doing and make it an ongoing type thing because a lot of times it's like a roller coaster. You guys go to this conference, you feel great, then you come back and what do you do after that? You know, you most of you go to R and D and and become. But that's what we need. We need people to be involved all the time. So that's kind of what we're thinking. On uh, we read this book, No Man Left Behind. If you guys haven't read that book, you ought to read it. It's a great resource and it kind of goes through the steps on how to keep men engaged after they've had a great experience and that they've encountered the Lord. They, it teaches you how to, how to stay engaged. Uh, and then all these other programs, like I said, you guys come to R&D every week. Uh, you do CHIRP. Knights of Columbus is another good way to get involved with Knights of Columbus. Uh, Father Capon, we've seen those videos, Wild Goose, Rise Ministry, which is what we're doing coming up. So that's what we're doing as, as a group for Catholic Brothers for Christ, to keep all these things in front of you so you can, you can do stuff with it. I'm when? When? Yeah. Can you give us just a, maybe a couple more minutes of detail on the follow-through after the conference, what you're looking at? As far as yeah. So what we're thinking about is uh, we, we've, we've accumulated over seven years of videos from all of our conferences. Like we've, Ralph's videotaped just about every speaker we've had. So we're going to take snippets of that, those talks into like an eight or ten minute, 50, maybe 15 minute video. And we're going to have questions like we do with Father Capon's men. We're going to have uh, questions after that, we're going we're gonna to send out a link on our website. So anybody who goes to the conference is going to have access to, to these videos and, these, and the program for that week. And we'll run it six weeks after the conference. We're, we're still working on all this. It's kind of a work in pro progress, but that's the thought. So after the conference, you know, a couple of weeks after the conference, you'll, you'll be sent an email. It's going to say, join us at this at this uh, webinar and and we'll play the video and have discussion on it and that's kind of how it's going to work. So we haven't determined what day it is and it may be where there's several different days. There may be you know, a group that does it on Friday night, a group that does it on Sunday afternoon or whatever. So, but that's what we're thinking to keep people engaged after that conference. Um, yeah. Rick, but will it be basically a one-to-many, or is there an, a, an opportunity for people to interact with these? Both. So there will be a vir virtual process where you can get on a webinar and where a couple guys will get on, talk about what's going on, show the video, and then there will be discussion on the webinar, and then there will be in-person programs. So, like, and we want to get recruit ambassadors to organize that team. So, like, Let's say Roland wants to be an ambassador. He recruits ten guys to do his those six week that six week program afterwards, leading the charge either in person or however you want to do it. So that's kind of what we're thinking. And anybody who wants to help organize all that, feel free to join us. I mean that that's some work that Ralph's going to be doing, or our whole team's going to be doing. But but. Again, the point is we've got to do something besides just the conference. We can't just do the conference, and uh, we got to keep you keep people engaged. And only the people that pay and go to the conference are going to have access to the uh, six-week training programs um, that men can sign up at the conference or right after if they pay. <coughs> We're looking to have like uh, somebody that takes up the uh, task of being the lead for Father Larry Richards when we break his thing up into like. 
uh, Father Wade Benicis or Patrick Hoffman or um, Father Pacwa. And so you will actually become the person that forms a small group that meets in person and helps disciple those men and get to know them because in this book, No Man Left Behind, they say that the most important thing to help men become disciples is to help them enter into a relationship with other strong Catholic men. So at the conference, we're going to have maybe eight different groups that we're hoping that men will choose to become leaders of that group. So we have some in each of the different parishes so that men can go right to their parish and be a part of that program that has the videos that we already have the content for. So we want you to be involved. Ideally, we want, uh, you know, we have our leadership team for Catholic Brothers for Christ. We would like some of them to actually become leaders of the educational program. Because in the No Man Left Behind, they say that it's much easier to get men involved if you just have like a short six-week program that men can go through and there's no, you know, you have to do this for a year or whatever. Because everybody's so busy with their lives and all the financial pressures and everything that if you have short little programs that men can sign up and they interact with spiritual leaders, men that are disciplers, then there's a chance that after they go through and they graduate from that six-week program, they want to take on, say, they did Father Wayne Benicis, now they want to do the Father Larry Richards program. So we're going to give it to men in short little segments where it's easy enough to complete it. And so if something comes up in your life, you can actually um, just bypass <coughs> some of the programs and just do another one down line. But you need to actually pay the conference to be able to be involved in this type of discipleship program.